to have the best of both, which when we visited most of the schools that I visited, now the thing is changing. In the past six years, I've realized that some schools have become slightly close, alhamdulillah, to the concept that I have. But most of the schools, they may be having maybe three periods a week on Islam, or maybe one period a day. Maximum I came across was two periods a day on Islam. And what was the main objective that a child, when he passes from school, he should have the knowledge of Quran, Hadith, Sharia, Fiqh, and science, etc. That I could not find. Though I visited the best of schools in America, in South Africa, which is supposed to be very much advanced in this field of Islamic schools, UK, Australia, Malaysia, etc. So that we thought that, let's make an effort. And with Allah's help, Alhamdulillah, we in Bombay, Alhamdulillah, about approximately six years back, or rather five and a half years back, we launched our own Islamic school by the name of Islamic International School. Because for my children, we had to do it. Though I was prepared to see to it that gear up my child, though putting in a convent school by giving all the so-called education at home, but then we thought that we should make a sample school. And alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, we ventured with this project in Bombay, and Allah helped us, and with Allah's support, we launched the school. And alhamdulillah, from day one, the response that we received from the people of Bombay, from the Muslims of Bombay, was tremendous, mashallah. The response was such that though the school was absolutely new, we hardly publicized it. We decided to start the school. There was only three weeks publicity, mashallah. But immediately when the school was launched, the amount of response we got was phenomenal. And it was overwhelming that ministers, they phoned our school to see to it that some of the friends get admission to the school. It was good, mashallah. You will hardly find a minister phoning a madrasa and telling that, you know, I want a seat in your madrasa. We find that in the convent school. In India, most of the convent school, the ministers phone, and they try and use the influence. But alhamdulillah, we are very strict as far as admission criteria is concerned. We are very strict with the guidelines. And unless a person fulfills our guidelines, let him be a minister, son also, we won't give admission, alhamdulillah. The difference that is there, that we appreciated that the movement that was started by many of the philanthropists and educationists throughout the world, it was a good movement, at least giving them an environment of Islam. So I was really happy that in the Western countries, whether it had been USA, UK, there were schools in which a child could at least practice his Islam. When the school that we launched, we had a different system we had, that I wanted a striking balance that when a child passes the 10th standard, he should become at least an average alim when he passes from Darul Ulum, as well as be able to compete with the best of convent schools in that city. That was the aim. And with that target, we started the school. And we did many unconventional things, which people told it's not possible. But alhamdulillah, with Allah's help, we did it.